got set. There we go. I was going to be streaming today, but that's impossible. Let's do this. Greetings, Master. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. course of four hours. Great. I right, will. We'll have videos and in increasing combat pheromones until uh, <laughs> February. set aside this entire day's worth of modding work just, just for this. And it is shitting the bed. The Empire's top operative arrives, just as expected. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. This won't be the first time I've helped a member of the Emperor's inner circle. My master is aware of your service to Darth Jadus. That is why he sent me to find you. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection. But the ensuing occupation has met... difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, seek out his servant. Darth Charnas, he will set you on the path of conquering Corellia. Whatever you say. Do not risk angering Darth Decimus. Seek out his apprentice soon. Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. A private shuttle outside the spaceport will take you there. Take it slowly. <sighs> There being a tele, a uh, good travel thing in his ship. So going here unlocks that. And, uh, getting to and from him is easy as shit. Are you well? 
Yeah, there it is. Coronet City, the jewel of Corellia, home to the finest trading and ship manufacturing in Republic space. Soon this will all belong to the Empire, and the rest of the galaxy will follow. Where are my manners? I am Darth Charnas, agent of the Dark Council. My master, Darth Decimus, requested your assistance. He believes only the Empire's most lethal agent can help us win Corellia. I can deliver this planet. Just tell me how many fatalities are too many. <laughs> Your expertise would have proven invaluable in our initial assault. The invasion was magnificent. Our occupation flawless. Imperial forces fill Corellia's high-speed rocket trams. We began to cover Coronet City. Then rebellion erupted. Unruly Corellians knocked out the rocket trams. Now our soldiers are stranded. Airdrop your men. Send in shuttles. Anything to keep troops on the streets. Alternate methods risk being shot down. Plus, they're unpredictable. I'm afraid our occupation's crippled without the high-speed rails. The guilty party is Corellian Engineering Corporation. The oldest ship manufacturer in Republic history. CEC exploited our one weakness. They turned our iron cannons on all outgoing trams, freezing our invasion, trapping us on the doorstep of the Empire's greatest battle. As you have seen from the message, uh, I can't stream to YouTube right now. Okay, try to do now. Oh boy, you are very, very, uh... I have to connect through my, my PC. Every, Every second that you speak, there is a burst of static from you. Storm the company and shut them down. It's the only way we'll break their blockade. I agree completely. Unfortunately, CEC shielded against conventional attacks. There's only one way in. The Hullcracker. A compact bomb developed by Zerka Corellia's deviant scientist to punch holes through capital ships. It will get us inside CEC. Then we disable their iron cannons, resume rocket tram traffic, and conquer Corellia. Unfortunately, Zerkers joined the rebellion, and they refused to hand over their hullcracker. They'll support the Empire. They just need the proper encouragement. The Hullcrackers under constant guard. Destroyed Zekka's assault camps, and they'll abandon the weapon to reinforce their headquarters. Once you rout the camps, find our commander Jastel in Zekka territory, then we'll liberate that Hullcracker. God, Jesus Christ, 6,000 MS of ping. What'd you say? I'm suffering. Can you even hear me? Yeah, I can. How, how bad is it?
I'm being silent. Uh, okay, speak up. How bad is it? I heard you now. Okay, um, I have been asked, asked by the lead developer of Magna Europa to make Rice Commissariat tags. Okay. I think I might try an alternative uh, method. Boy, you're gonna steal my tags and use them for your own uh, nefarious needs. Not, not exactly. Uh, you know the uh, Battle for the Bo Bosphorus uh, uh, Yugoslav uh, tree, right? You can uh, uh, split Bo Bosnia in uh, into Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oh. And you can uh, create yep. Dalmatia despite uh, there not being an actual country tag for that. I see. You're going to use false tag. Dynamic tags, thank you. Hey, they're false tags. It's the same things as Civil War tags. They're the same BS. Um, that will uh, ease up on the lag, I assume. But if you figure that out, feel free to tell me how to do that. Because that, because you're right. And we I mean, no. we visit the Republic Core World. We certainly never thought we'd fight here. Yeah, that'd be pretty useful to you, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would, uh... I think that would cut at okay, max, can... like, 16%. Not 16%, uh... 5% of the actual info in my, in my mod. <laughs> okay, so, Oh my um... Jesus Christ, that's so horrible. So, what? so you know when, uh... When you have a Steam game open and the Steam game, like, notifies you of stuff? Yeah? It, yeah. The, the pop-up, it pops up over my fucking map. And... Hey, at least it, uh, your pop-up does... Uh, shit, and you can't... <sighs> I cannot English. Why can I not English? What I'm trying to say is that uh, often when I try to remove the overlay, it just brings me to 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 Discord uh, instead, and it lags like hell. Okay. Okay. So, uh, focus. Devolved Croatia. Completion reward. Hidden effect. Uh, if uh, limit Croatia exists, no. Release puppet crow and set autonomy. Um, crow set save event target as uh, released nation target. Else create dynamic com dynamic country original tag crow save event target as released nation target. Uh, prev every owned state uh, limit is code of crow prev prev transfer state prev what yeah I mean how I figure and it then out is I just steal all the code and then I just start editing it until I prev, figure it puppet, out prev set autonomy target prev autonomy state autonomy integrated puppet Okay, okay. I'm I'm about to enter into a cutscene. Create I will shut up. Thank you. And I was right, it was cutscene. A Darth gave him that name. But how did he survive the Sith Academy? Standards fall during wartime. Korriban will return to the old ways soon enough. You must be our intelligence transfer. Lord Razor's waiting on Hollow. 
I'm afraid we haven't been introduced. Major Nadeka. I served under Darth Gravis on Taris and Raban. This is Major Sanos, just off his third year at the trench. Ready to continue, my lord? My squadrons, prepare to launch. Listen well, my new operative, for I will repeat nothing. Corellia is a founding planet of the Republic. It shall be our first conquest as we march to victory through the Core Worlds. But its population fears us. The Republic army resists us. Their doom is our purpose here. Under Lord Razor's command, we've been conducting a bombing campaign for the past six weeks. He's brought us here to coordinate a final airstrike against Aegis Base, the Republic Army's headquarters for this sector. If you need a pilot, you brought in the wrong man. How terribly insightful. Captain Lechara is handling the attack squadrons. Phase 1 is the elimination of the outer ring of base defenses, shield generators, bunkers, fuel depots. They're hidden from the air and jam all our sensors, so our bombers can't spot them. Your assignment is to slip past the Republic Army battalions and designate high-value bomber targets. You aim the gun, our pilots pull the trigger. They won't know I'm there until after the bombs fall. You will be glorious. One master of stealth will cause more devastation than a hundred troops. Then, phase two. With its outer defenses destroyed, Aegis Base itself will be temporarily exposed. Our flyers will continue the engagement and our war droids will cut off Republic Special Forces. But that's all a distraction. You will infiltrate Aegis Base carrying a portable Baradium warhead. Planted correctly, it will incinerate anyone and anything inside. Sounds straightforward, if risky. No further instructions? You'll be patched into our channels to keep you apprised as the assault proceeds. Go now and arm yourself. The fighters have already launched, and Republic blood rains from the skies. Now, Major Nadeka. What of your war drones? Okay, you continue. That was so fucking cursed. For context, Vector was, like, the only thing of Vector I could see, uh, Lolo, was his weapon. Like, his entire model did not exist. Oh my Jesus Christ. Hello? Hello? 